Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermiss Lure Company and today we've brought a few Viper Spoons with us and what we'd like to do is share some tips and techniques on how to rig the Viper Spoon showing a variety of different baits. Okay, that's a nice size small macro there Claudio. Here's a SP5 Viper Spoon. So he's going to start again basically by poking the hook right through the snout of the macro, letting it come out there and again you don't want to start off away up here, you want to start right at the snout and you see he's got a lot of good hook exposure there. Now he's marking the next spot with his thumb and what you want to do is poke the hook through that spot but on the top side of the back and that way you're maximizing the amount of hook exposure you have just like that. And then again with the third hook find your spot with your thumb and same process just poke it through the top of the back again you want to maximize the amount of hook gap and hook point that you have coming out of there in order for setting the hook. And there you have it. Claudio has just rigged one perfectly rigged mackerel. And you could use this for, it could be a sardine, it could be a smelt, any type of live bait. Fresh water or salt water, if you're going for salmon, if you're going for stripers, doesn't matter. Whatever bait you like to use, that's the perfect way right there to rig it. Okay, one of the most best baits to use in salt water is the squid. So here's a whole squid, and we're going to show how to rig a whole squid. Here you go, Claudio. This is an SP5 Viper Spoon. You could use uh, an SP4 if you'd like. And uh, either way, either the 4 or the 5, it'll take a whole squid. So again, start off on this time on the tail part of the squid. And again, poke it just through the end part there. Mark the spot with your thumb. Find out where the next spot is to come out and just poke it through again. And because these squid are so thin, uh, what's gonna happen is you automatically got a lot of hook po point exposure. And then again, poke it through the backside. Uh, one, more, one more hook set in there. There you have it. There is one perfectly rigged whole squid. And again, this is on an SP5 Viper Spoon, but a whole squid can go on an SP4 Viper, Vi Viper Spoon as well. And again, we're gonna show how to rig this uh, piece of cut bait. Claudio's going to start off again, poke the hook right through, get the first hook exposed, and then mark your spot again, same process, just as we did with the squid moments ago. Poke it through, and then one third one on the very end there. Find your spot and poke it through. Now, there you go, Claudio. That's a perfectly rigged uh, piece of cut bait. And what I want to point out here, folks, is you see how Claudio rigged the thinner part up top here and the wider part on the bottom? That will maximize the action of the Viper Spoon right there as opposed to the other way around. So always start off with the thin part on the top and the wider part towards the bottom. And you could use, this is on an SP4, but again, you could use smaller cut bait strips on smaller Viper Spoons. You tailor the size of the cut bait to the Viper Spoon that you're using.